Hey everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our continued playthrough of A Touch of Evil. Man, I know y'all watched last turn. The last episode with the last two turns. Whew, that was crazy. That shows you the randomness of this game. <laughs> Just like, things can go your way. They can go against you. It is insane. And sometimes you just can't mitigate it enough. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, I did have a, a small correction to make. And that is that Sarah and Eliza both should have an extra um, uh, investigation. Because they rolled sixes when going up against the cat, of all things. So, uh, just as a reminder, we have like tons of remains in play cards. Um, Sarah, the Bright Witch, has the Devil's Mark, which reduced her honor by one. She, however, has her special card, which gives her plus one, so she's still at four. Um, she also has a skilled hand. I think this would count towards the Shadow Witch's ability of getting plus one combat for every remains in play card. Now, this is helpful, but not if it's benefiting the, uh, the Witch. Uh, but we also have this uh, Laughter on the Wind. While this card's in play, any time a hero draws an event card, roll a d6 on a 1 or 2, draw a mystery card instead. Uh, this is a, considered a weather card, which means there are ways to get rid of these. I need to make sure, I think, if I had bought that torch when I was at the blacksmith, I could have gotten rid of it. But I didn't. And I also have to remember to use her ability on rolls, because there's a couple times I probably, I thought, ah, should I use it, should I use it, or could the next roll be worse? It was. So I probably should, or the, the role I had was worse, so I probably should have just done it. But I didn't. Here we are. All right, well, next up we are going to, the, we're going to get right into it. Uh, that's basically catching up. Um, by the way, there's transformation tokens on, on uh, all of our remaining council members, of the, the uh, elders. And the, it, there's two of them, Dr. Manning and Reverend Harding have two each, and it, there's a three requirement on what happens when that occurs. But we're going to move the first player marker, marker over to Captain Hawkins. Now, Captain Hawkins, I took one of the things I when I got him, I was like, one of the cool abilities he has, these abilities to put down these militia markers, unfortunately it requires that he get investigation, which he's been incredibly unlucky with, right? So we'll have to see. But he's not wounded, which is a good thing. So we're going to get started right away with him and start moving him towards the place where he needs to go, which is the inn. So we'll put the the bowl right there for now. This is Captain Hawkins right... No, wait. That is not Captain Hawkins. Captain Hawkins is way over at the manor, so we're going to have to deal with that. He's got to get to... Where does he need to go? To the church. Right, the church. But we need some investigation for him, or it's all for naught. Uh, he's got to get to four, because right now all of our investigation cards cost double, so we can inve explore what happened to uh, the... Uh, I think it's Elaine, the witch, the shadow witch ghost at the church. There's something that happened there that he needs to find out about. All right, well, let's get right to it and roll a movement die for him. A six. He can go anywhere. <laughs> well, not really, but you get the idea. So Captain Hawkins has, he's he's got some really good combat capabilities against things that aren't spirits. He's got a, uh, a musket, which gives him plus two to combat. He's also got a saber, which gives him plus one to combat and plus one honor. But what do I want to do with him? Well, we need, we still need investigation. He's got none. Uh, there's no point in keeping him at the, um, up there at the manor. He could move over to the windmill, see if he can get something there. Um, it wouldn't be, that would not be a bad move because there's still things to be had at the windmill and he can still get cards. I think even though he needs to go to the church, it doesn't do him any good unless he can get four investigations. So we're going to do that. We're going to go one, two, three, four over to the windmill where he will uh, encounter the windmill. Let's go check that out. Okay, here are the windmill cards. I think we've already drawn a couple, right? So we'll just, oh, those are the ones we got rid of, right? Let's uh, shuffle them up a bit, do a quick cut, see what we get. Let's hope for something good. What do we get? A black feather, okay. Hmm. Climbing to the loft of the old windmill, you find a single black feather on the wooden fence. It's a quill etched with runic markings and dripping red. Make a spirit four plus test and gain one um, investigation for every four rolled. Well, there's some investigation options. That is not terrible, though. He's, I don't think his spirit is very good. I think the best he can do is a two, right? Yeah, he's got a two spirit, nothing that's going to benefit him or give him additional spirit. So here we go. Let's see. He needs fours. Maybe he can get two. He got one. So one investigation for 
Hawkins. Not the best thing for him. That wasn't that great, but it's half the halfway. No, one quarter of the way because of the cost of this card that we have to getting um, his, uh, uh, his go to, being able to go to the church and getting his clue. All right. Well, that is the end of Hawkins. Let's go on to Eliza. This game, I need to be careful of the language I use. Not the end of Hawkins, just the end of his turn. Right. So here we are with Eliza. The the uh, Bright Witch. This is Eliza here. She's at the covered bridge where she had just killed the uh, specter. Now, we got to get her, let's get the bowl out and roll a movement roll for her. We got to get her down to the abandoned keep. She can do a lot when she gets there. With a one, she's not going to do much at all, but she does get to draw an event card. However, when, when a card in play, while this card in play, anytime a hero would draw an event card, roll again. A six. Okay, well, that's good news. We did not draw a mystery card. Instead, we got an event card. What do we get? Play immediately. Play this card on any hero. That hero may now carry one additional um, card from the old woods. I'm going to give that to Eliza because, um, well, she can get stuff from the abandoned keep. Yeah, that would be good. And then she'll keep two of them. So I'm going to play that on her immediately. But guess what? That's another Remains in Play card. <laughs> so, that's, I think we're up to six or seven for the Witch. She's becoming more epically powerful than any creature I've ever fought in this game as a result of that. Unless we can get rid of some of these cards. Um, unfortunately, uh, she just gets to move one. So, I will move her one. She was here. She's just in the middle of the road. So, she's actually at the Blacksmith where we get to draw an event card. Um, is that what I want to do? Do I want to move it? Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I... Let's roll, okay, now let's roll for the, now normally you don't have to roll for this, but it says draw an event, so we're going to roll a three. We do not have to worry about a mystery card. We do get an event card. I'm going to give them a quick little cut and shuffle just because we keep getting this, these remains in play cards. I don't know if they're cl clumped together or not, or if it even matters. Uh, a remains in play card, and you saw me shuffle, play immediately, play this card on any hero. Uh, that hero gets an extra health box. I think we're going to give that to Sarah because Sarah is fighting a lot, just oddly enough. Or I might give it to Hawkins since he's such a battler. I'm going to give it to Hawkins. Captain Hawkins now has Endurance. So the problem is with Endurance is that it's another Remains in Play card. So what are we up to? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Remains in Play cards on the table at this point. I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like, ever. But in a scenario where the villain actually benefits from it, it's happening like crazy. Okay, we're not done yet, though. Uh, Eliza can... She or she can gather that... Let's gather that, uh, in, that investigation. She's going to use her spirit or cunning. It doesn't really matter. She's got a four in each, so she'll use her spirit to try and gather the... She's a... She can use her cunning. She's investigating what's going if there's any clues at the blacksmith. And does she find... Whoa! Best roll ever! She got all three. So she got three, the three investigation there. Uh, she's already got two items from the um, blacksmith, the town. So I don't... She can't carry any more. Uh, yeah, she's got two town items. So she can't carry any more there. She's got one windmill item. She's on her way down to the abandoned keep, but she can't carry anymore. She get, did get all that investigation. She's going to hold on to it, but she can. Remember, she likes to get secrets. I think she's. we're going to get more investigation by doing this. Okay. Um, Inquis she's also hurt. She's got to go over to the do on the way to the doctor, I think. She's got damage on her. Uh, anytime she reveals a elder secret, gain four investigation. So it costs two to investigate an out town elder secret. Let's do this. We're going to spend two. She's got quite a bit. We're going to spend two of them. We're going to investigate uh, the, the secret of Sophie, the midwife. So while Eliza is looking for clues at the blacksmith that will help her understand how to combat the Shadow Witch and the Shadow Witch's minions, uh, Sophie, the midwife, and one of the town elders comes into the blacksmith and they begin to have a conversation. This conversation leads to Eliza understanding one of her secrets. Reluctant hero, secret, pure, closely guarded and quiet. The elder clearly keeps a reserved manner. Only desperate times can stir 
uh, this reluctant hero to action. The Talon Elder may not join a hunting party unless, party unless the shadow track is in red. That means below eight, or below nine, rather. Uh, during the showdown, a showdown, the hero gains plus three fight dice as well as the Town Elder's normal special ability. So that is awesome. She is really, uh, she's a good character. She's a reluctant hero. She's not likely to come help us right now, but uh, she keeps, as we try to prod her to get her to help out, she's like, no, I don't want to get involved with this. It's too scary. Um, I just want to be at peace and blah, blah, whatever, but she chooses not to. We'll see how that goes, though. We might be able to persuade her later. Okay, I just realized something. I was just catching up on some rules, and I realized something that is going to happen, and it's absolutely atrocious. <sighs> this game's not going well for us, y'all. Um, I thought I had to get three for some reason. I don't remember why I thought that, but it says any time a mystery card, Murder, Murder, is played, roll a d6. Any Talon Elder with honor or equal to or less roll gains a transformation marker. Any time a Talon Elder has transformation markers equal to or greater than their spirit, they are immediately killed and removed from the game. Uh, place a Shadow Specter in a random board uh, to represent their tormented spirit. So, unfortunately... Magistrate Croft has a spirit of one. He only had a little secret. That would have been good, too. But, unfortunately, he's dead. So, there goes uh, Magistrate Croft. He is history. Um, and uh, he is kaput. Now, that puts a shadow specter on the board, so I'm going to deal with that. Well, here is one of the specters. Now, remember, they're really bad, too. So, I probably should have done this beforehand. So, that my, the price I'll pay is I've already gone through two characters' turns, right? Um, this one's going to be at the end. Okay. So, there's a shadow specter at the end. And the next one... Okay, well, why am I saying the next one? <laughs> Dr. Manning. The important and valuable Dr. Manning is who had uh, just two little secrets. Would have been on our side is unfortunately dead as well. So uh, we are killing off our our um, elders faster than we can deal with them. And at least the next, the other two characters have massive spirit. So they're not likely to die. But that does mean we do put another Shadow Spectre on the board. Remember, they have a special ability too. This one's going to be at the Monastery. So these ones are on the other board and rather far away. Now, let's uh, review those just to show you and remind you what they do. Um, they're ethereal, which means we must use spirit to fight, which is not a big deal, but they're spiteful. While on the board, draw an extra mystery card in the mystery phase. That means if this turn, if I can't get to them, which I can't, we're going to end up... Uh, well, I might be able to get to one with Argo. We'll see. Argot. He might be able to fight one, but I don't know how good he's going to do with that being sp it's spirit based. But if he can kill one of them, that'll help us only draw two, I think maybe three mystery cards, I don't know, two mystery cards and two rolls on the advanced mystery phase. So, uh, chart rather. So let's uh, continue on. So that's basically going to, I think that's the end of Eliza's turn now, it is. We do still have two characters to go. We have, um, oh you know what, uh, that was, I keep mixing these two miniatures up because they're both the only two women and the miniatures don't actually match. So actually none of that would have happened um, unfortunately, because she was at the covered bridge, not at the, uh, what do I do there? You know what, uh, y'all, I'm just, I am, th that's a lot to take back. I mean, enough, the same things would happen with the elder, but we just wouldn't know about the secret of Sophie, uh, and we wouldn't have been able to get that extra. So here's what I'll do. She could have spent two anyway. We're going to put the three back here. She was right there. Uh, she could have, you know what, she spent the money, she she can look at the Elder Secret regardless. We didn't do anything else except for get a, we got this card, right? I think we got this card while we were at the blacksmith from the thing, so I'll, I'll put that one back in. I, I'll look and make sure it's either that or Magistrate's Mandate, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Um, anyway, she's just right here on her way over to the, the Michelin. Sorry about that, I keep mixing those two miniatures up, i got to remember, Cloak. Eliza, no cloak, Sarah. Okay. Now, we're, we are going to Argo, Argot. I'm going to, I just need to call him Argot, I think. He's going to, he's trying to get to the end, but he, he, he doesn't have enough yet to uh, interact with the end the way he wants to. He, got, he gets a two. That's not terrible. He can get to the end and at least fight the creature there, even though he's not that good with that creature. But uh, he'll go there. He's going to go to the end, and we're going to have a battle with the 
which um, the I'm sorry the specter now they got two fight dice and three health so it's not like he can't fight them they're even money two to two on combat dice so he'll have two she'll have two because um, he has to fight with the spirit does he have anything else that can help him let's see hunter gain plus two fight dice against beasts vampires or ancient enemies let me see what the tags are for the shadow specter minion undead ghost so that does not Trigger, no line enemy may discard an event card to gain plus two fight dice for one attack or prevent a wound to yourself. Okay. I guess because you can prevent the wound, I guess you can do that after you roll. On the hunt, may draw an event card every time you defeat a minion. Okay, we're about to defeat a minion. Let's uh, roll and see if we can fight this one off. All right, well, we got one hit from the bad guy, none from us. I think we will take advantage of not getting a wound. Um... Let's see, what, what could we get? You know, I could do that. No, that's cunning. Teamwork. I'm going to get rid of this teamwork card. We're going to discard that, y'all. Uh, so that uh, Argo does not take a wound at this in this action. And he's going to go to the next action. I'm, well, we might want to help ourselves fight here. I can uh, know, do the know thy enemy thing. You know what? i got to use this on... Um, on uh, Hawkins, so he can get the uh, investigation he needs. <sighs> Play any time to prevent up to two wounds to any hero. We'll just keep that. Shocking discovery. Choose a town elder secret. We got. We've had this one before. Maybe I'll get rid of that. The shocking discovery because we Eliza does really well with getting things anyway. Uh, oh, and she would have gotten four back for discovering the secret of the of Sophie i got to remember that. She gets a bonus for investigating. Um, sorry, I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Okay, we're go we're, we got rid of that card. Uh, and that's going to give us plus two fight dice. Hopefully that will help us turn the tide of this battle because it's going the same way the last time we fought one of these specters. Uh, we got one hit. It got one hit. Um, I think we're just going to absorb a wound and do a wound to the... Spectre. Now we are back to uh, two dice, and it is still at two dice. This is a tough fight. Again, we're just not rolling very well. Let's see what we get here. Come on, Argo. Are you kidding? So another wound to Argo, and nothing to the ghost. We may have to back out of this. I don't know. Hmm. Do I draw? pull another... Do I get rid of another card to try and get... Uh, Two more fight dice, see if we can kill this thing, be done with it. I can also prevent a wound, right? So I think I'm going to hold on to that to prevent a wound, because we can't take wounds, really. Uh, we're down to the bottom. Well, there we go. We got one. That's one more, and none to us. So now the the witch, is on, has she has two against her of three. So we're going to have to go again. Let's do it. See if we can pull this off without dying. Oh, look, we got two, and it got none. So we did kill it, but we took two wounds to do so. And we're gonna, he's going to get four more investigation as a result. And we have killed a specter at the inn. We haven't encountered the inn yet, so that's okay. Um, we are going to get four. So let's take a five. Put that one back for killing the specter. He does now have enough. He has six enough to, to do his secret at the end. We're going to do that. But first, we're going to encounter the inn. Before encountering, gain two investigation or heal one wound. Well, we know what we're doing there. He's going to take a little rest at the inn and have a drink with some people while he's after killing the specter and saving everybody. They gave him a free drink and bandaged him up so he's feeling a lot better. And then we're going to encounter the inn. We haven't encountered the inn yet, uh, though I do have two cards that are not going to be in play. Good, good thing is because one of them was really bad. So um, here we go. Let's uh, see what we get at the inn. We'll do one more cut. Let's see what we get. A soul eater. Hmm. Three fight dice, three health. The reward is plus one honor. Interesting. Uh, you must use cunning instead of combat. That's better for Argot. He's got a three. And he also has a plus one cunning from the rogue's rapier. So he's got four. Um, when fighting this minion, for each hit you take, you must also lose two, uh, two investigation. Well, we could prevent hits. Now, what is the keywords on this uh, minion and shadow? So once again... Not able to, um, not able to 
do what we want there as far as the his uh, ability of a hunter. But he's going right back into battle at the end. So he's got three dice two versus its three dice. So they're even money again on this. This is really bad. He, he did get a, a heal a wound, but we could sure use some help here. So let's see if we... Oh, and you know what he did do when he killed that minion? He was supposed to gain a... Um, well, let me roll here. Three. No, we're okay. He's supposed to gain an event card. It might be helpful. Oh, I, I show you saw. I didn't just put it on top. I shuffled it in. Um, I'm going to give that to him. I'm gonna, so that must be another one, even though it's another remains in play card. That is the uh, endurance. So now he has an extra wound, and we're going to go into the fight round with this uh, soul eater. I'll put him. I'll put the soul eater's card right here. You could see Argot on the screen. So. Um, one of one wound each right now. So uh, Argo took a wound. Uh, so did the creature. But we're not going to take that wound. We're going to do something about that because we can. So we're going to do one wound there for the creature. We are burning through our cool cards though. I think we'll take this one that says, oh, wait, no, we're not. We're fighting with cunning. We're going to keep this and use it. Um, yeah, we're just going to get rid of the Tactical Strike for right now. I know that sucks, but that'll prevent the wound. And now I have another way to prevent wounds while we're trying to kill this thing as well, because we have a card that prevents wounds. Okay, let's see. What do we get? Um, one each again. So the bad guy is two guns. These fights are just atrocious. My dice rolls are just not good enough. Um, but we don't want to take that wound, right? We want to avoid the wound. So what do we do? I think we'll... Play immediately to prevent a one to two wounds. We'll do that. Either way, that prevents a wound, right? I still have a card that I can use. And let's get the rest of our dice and go at it again. Come on, one more. I only use one more. Boom, look at that. Two there, one there. We don't want to take that wound, so we are going to... We'll play this. We'll get rid of this. Man, we burned through a ton of cards on that. But we survived it. Did not lose anything. And as a reward... He's going to get a plus one honor, which puts him at three. That's not that great, but um, it's better than a sharp stick. I don't know if that was worth it, but uh, hey, that's what we did. So let me get a token out for that uh, honor, and we'll continue on. Here is the honor token. That's going to go up there with uh, on the corner with uh, Blackwell. He's now more honorable for fighting off this evil creature at the inn. That's pretty cool. I do like that. And... Um, that was that was his time at the end, but he's not done yet because he gets to do a secret. Let me let me uh, talk about that with the witch. So um, where is it? Specter, which is lair, the shadow witch. Nope, uh, nope. On the trail of evil. Here we go. Uh, after encountering a space, if the hero has a lair card for that space, they may reveal and discard it. It says reveal. Oh, paying the investigation car cost down on the card to buy a clue. Clue markers can be whatever, the, the, then immediately draw a new layer card. Okay, well, good news for him is he's got enough to do it. This, this end card is going to cost him six investigation right now because of what's happening with the other stuff. Plus, we are going to get to do something else, too, in a minute. But let's get that. I guess I'll use the same tokens that we're using as um, transformation tokens for clue tokens. I will give one to our... Argot, and he's now got his first clue, which means he's he'll fight better against the Shadow Witch. He's learning about her right now. But also, let's do this before we get too much farther on. Lots happening for Argot. A four, he gets to get an event card instead of a mystery card because of our boy, our laughter of the night. And okay, this is weird. Another endurance card. Another remains in play card. I've only shuffled these things like crazy, so they're just coming out that way. I guess now I will give this uh, endurance card to Captain Hawkins, but we're at like nine um, remains of play cards at this point. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. Well, that will mark the end of Arg Argot Blackwell's turn. It's good. Okay, let's uh, now we go. We bounce over to Sarah. So Sarah is actually she's the one that was one away from the the uh, blacksmith. Let's roll because she needs to go to the doctor. First off, as always, she gains two investigation. We haven't had the shadow track go down good any, so she's at three right now. Not enough to do her thing at the monastery, but she's nowhere near it anyway. 
We're going to roll her movement of five. That is wonderful. Can she? Where can she go? She needs to get to the monastery, but we need to stop at the doctor's office first. So she's going to go one, two, three. Oh, man, I tell you. Okay, a six. We get to draw an event card. I'm going to cut them again just to be safe, but uh, I don't think it matters. We're going to draw something that remains in play. No, we didn't. Uh, you go first. Play this card when any hero, including yourself, takes on takes more, more wounds, one or more wounds in a fight, print all those wounds, and instead choose an ally that the hero must discard. Okay, eh, that's not that great. All right, but it's better than a new remains in play card. So that's what she got at first part of the doctor's office. Then we can do this. Uh, we can heal one wound for each investigation. She's going, she got two wounds. She's going to spend two investigation and heal them both. So she is no longer damaged. Unfortunately, that's the end of her turn. Now we're going to go into the craziest mystery phase ever. So she moved down the doctor's office. She's on actually going to head toward the monastery. Uh, remember, we got a witch up there. So there's lots of fiddly crud to remember this time around. First off, we're going to do the cat. The cat is going to move. Uh, Solomon is going to the old woods. I don't think the I think the fastest route will not pass any players, which is great. One, two, three, four. Yep. So back to the old woods with this uh, clowny cat. It's going here. Let's put it on the, the old woods miniature right there. Didn't encounter anybody. Didn't pass through anything important. So that's it. Solomon is there at the old woods. Okay, now though, <laughs> fun times. Okay, remember at the start of each mystery phase, including this one, roll once on the cooperative mystery phase chart. If playing cooperatively, roll a second time. So we got to do that. So our first one's going to be a nine. All right, five, eight. Eight is a murder. No, no, come on. Don't want to re-roll it. I might because I don't want the. Remember, with Murder, Murder, she's given transformation tokens with the murder cards. And that counts as a murder card. She's getting transformation tokens on the... Of course, they have really high spirits. Maybe it's okay this time. Uh, draw a random location, place three investigations. So we'll do that first. Our random location is the Covered Bridge. There's going to be quite a few investigation at the Covered Bridge. One, two, and three. That means there's currently four investigation at the Covered Bridge. Uh, but then we got to do this. The guilty shall pay. Uh, roll a d6 on their honor. Anybody lower? Let's do that. A five. So I don't have to worry about either of them. That's okay. So they did not get another transformation token on the murder card. And then uh, what else do I have to do? Spirit. Okay. Nope. Nope. That's okay. Uh, but I got to remember the specter. I think we draw an extra mystery card. We do. So that was our first roll. On the chart here, that was not wonderful. Oh wait, and murder, murder doesn't also the murder. Where's murder? Murder, murder. Well, the, the location shadow track goes down by one. That goes down now to twelve, and uh, that takes Sarah's last remaining investigation. And then we're gonna roll again. We roll a, a six. March of Darkness. Every minion minion on the board immediately moves two spaces along the shortest path to the town hall. If there are no minions on the board, we're going to roll one, but we do, and just let me read the whole thing. Yeah, we're good. We, there is a minion on the board. It's going to move. Luckily for us, it doesn't get to anybody, but this is the shortest path. Well, is it? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three. F it's this way. One, two. Okay, so she moves down there towards the, well... She was at the monastery, right? So one, two, yeah, right here, towards the town hall. So that's not great. All right, now it's mystery card time. Yay. So we, we took care of our two um, rolls that we had to do. Now we got to draw a mystery card. All right, now remember, we actually have to draw three. Not We might, is it three? I think it is. Um, no, no, it's two. We're going to draw two mystery cards. Yeah, two mystery cards. One for her, and then one is normal. So let's cut the deck and see what we get here. Uh, we get uh, unwelcome. If Mayor Carver, nope, is still alive, uh, he's not. Um, every hero m must make a D6 honor test. If he is dead, or join the villain instead, move the shadow track. Actually, Mayor Carver, i got to redo this. Mayor Carver is actually not in it. So let's draw another card. 
Okay. Blocked road. Draw a random location, place a blocked road marker. I don't know what that looks like. Uh, and move the shadow track one. So the shadow track is down to 11. We're not doing well there. And where and what road is blocked? The covered bridge. Let me look for a blocked road marker. I don't know what they look like. So I'm going to have to s take a gander for those and see if I could find one. I just don't remember what they are. Okay, be right back. I don't think this is it, but I'm going to put that there anyway. It is blocked, blocked road, so what does that mean? Uh, blocked road marker in one empty adjacent road space. Okay, uh, your, cho your choice. So I guess in any, I guess we'll put it right in between the covered bridge, and that means we have to go this way to get out of here. Nah. I'll leave this out, even though it's not really a in-play card. I just want to leave it out so I don't forget about it. Uh, then we do have to draw yet another mystery card, so let's do that and see what we get. A deadly encounter. Every hero must roll a d6. The hero that rolls the lowest uh, roll off if tied must resolve a single fight round with the villain. Instead of causing wounds, each hit uh, done to the villain gains one, um, uh, one Yes, one of those things. Investigations. Now, here's the problem. The witch right now, her fight, her combat is four. I think it's just four right now. It's four plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve. Okay. Um, let's see who rolls the, the first, the lowest first. So, what do we have to do? It says for every, uh, do, do hero rolls, oh, every hero rolls d6, whoever rolls low. So, Sarah rolls a 6, Captain Hawkins rolls a 3, Eliza rolls a 5, and Argot, Argot rolls a 3. So, it's between Captain Hawkins and Argot. Captain Hawkins rolled a 1, yuck, uh, Argot rolled a 1, Captain Hawkins rolled a 3, Argot rolled a 6. So, it's going to be Captain Hawkins. He's going to have to do a fight round. Now, he's got a lot of stuff and extra, he's got no wounds, but he's going to get blasted. So let's roll for her first um, and get that out of the way because we don't have enough dice and I need 12. So I got 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, no, I'm sorry, that's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. This is all, and this is not his role, this is all the villain's role. Because she's rolling 12 fight dice. Uh, three wounds, not uh, four wounds. Ugh, that would kill him. Do I have a way to prevent a wound? Um, I don't have any allies, so I can't do this. Play this card when any hero, including yourself, takes one or more wounds in a fight. Prevent all those wounds and instead choose an ally to discard. No one has an ally. So this is a problem. Uh, call to arms, field command, he didn't, none of this is going to help. So I guess, hmm, let me think about this. I don't think there's much we can do. I think he's going to get knocked out. He still might get some some uh, investigation, but he might get knocked out. Okay, let's first roll uh, his dice, his fight dice. So he's going to have two, three, four, five, six. He's got six right now, so that's not bad. Because this this will help because uh, he needs investigation to avoid losing items. So let's roll that. Uh, man, are you kidding? Rolled one. He got one. One investigation. One hit out of that whole thing and got demolished. Now we have to roll a d6 and he's KO'd. So he goes down. He is, where is he? He's at the windmill. So he gets knocked down at the windmill. He'll be fine. He'll get to go again next turn. But we got to roll a d6 real quick. And what does that mean? He's going to lose five, a combination, oh, that's everything he's got. <laughs> God, my luck is just not happening in this game at all this time for us, unfortunately. So this is sad because he was really decked out. So he's going to lose his two investigation. He's going to lose his three item, his two items for four total because that's the amount of damage he took. Uh, it is correct, right? Just double check it. Oh, and he gets KO'd. Yeah, so he rolled five. He can't. He can't lose. Man, it hit done. All I needed was two more to avoid. Two, all I needed just two total out of six. Three total out of six to be able to solve that. But no. So his items are kaput. They are discarded. One is at the manor, and one is at the abandoned keep. His great items are gone, and he is knocked out. Well, there you have it for the first. Uh, villain 
uh, phase this turn, the mystery phase this turn. Uh, yuck. I don't know what to say about that. That's not great. I'm going to continue to look for these blocked road tokens because I'm sure they're, they exist somewhere. I just can't find them. Uh -huh. Maybe I will at some point. Um, I guess I have, a, I have a barricade token. I could use that, I suppose. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. That would make more sense than a B because I might forget. I'll just put a barricade token there. That means blocked. Okay. And I'll keep looking for the block tokens. So now, <laughs> that was a long, a very long round, but we're going to move this to Eliza. Eliza is not doing badly. She's still a little wounded. She's on her way to the doctors, I think, too. Though, the we gotta get, we got to get moving. This is insane. I can't get anything accomplished. The only one that's got a... Um, one of the uh, our secrets or uncovered is Argot. So um, yeah, that's oh, I'm supposed to draw another card for him. He's he needs to go to the fields to get his next set of clues. It only costs one, so it's only going to be two currently to do that. All right, let's move uh, Eliza. She rolls a six. Great. Uh, do I want to take her straight down to the? I can get her all the way to the keep. She can do her abandon keep card there and then encounter the abandoned keep, but she's got two wounds. I think it's worth the risk. So she's going to go, uh, let's make sure you can see her, her, the whole area. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, before she encounters the space, she is going to roll for, to try and get that investigation. She'll use her spirit. It's four. Let's uh, roll that. Uh, she got one. That's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, and then she will encounter the keep itself. So let's see what she gets. She gets, uh, don't pull the chain. Okay, for the love of all that is holy, leave it be. Get everyone out of here. I have to stop this evil or one way or another. Make an honor roll and spirit six plus test. Gain four investigation for every six plus roll. If failed, immediately take these six wounds and move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. Oh, you know when a hero is KO'd, I, I gotta remember, did we lose, we, did we go down the shadow track? Um, let's see, KO'd heroes. Oh, we're gonna lose a turn for that KO'd hero because they don't get up until the mystery steps over, so we're gonna lose a turn for uh, um, Captain Hawkins. Um, but it does not, it doesn't look like it, it reduces the track anymore. But let's get on with this turn. So we're going to roll a whole bunch of stuff. Spirit plus honor. Eliza's in good shape there. Spirit of four. We got four plus two dice for honor. We need a six. Let's make that happen. Come on. Make it happen. Let's do it. Boosh. One six. Okay. So we do get, uh, let's see. Six tests gained. Four investigation for every six plus rolled. Wow. So she's got a lot of investigation. I'm just going to take a five. Get rid of one. Um, and she's in good shape there. She helped, held back whatever evil presence was happening at the abandoned keep there. She still doesn't have the items. She may linger there. But she is going to now do this. She's going to spend four because, unfortunately, all of our cards cost double to get her first clue from the abandoned keep. So she now has a clue to, to weaken the Shadow Witch a little bit. Um, and she is, oh, you know, well, she didn't have to fight, so it doesn't matter. She is, I think, I think that's it for her. She could look at the secrets of the Doctor, of the Reverend. We only have two Elders left, so this is not good. They're dying like, they're dropping like flies. The Shadow Witch is getting her revenge, that's for sure. Um, can she do anything else? Let's see. Remember, she can get two car keep two cards from the bandit keep, so I definitely want to keep her there. And if she has to fight something, the militia's there. It's not a terrible thing. I would like to get Argot down to deal with the uh, Spectre again, though he's a little wounded still. He's not really good at fighting the Spectre. Hmm. Okay, well, that's going to be the end of her turn. I don't see anything else that she can do, so it will be Argo Blackwood. Uh, Blackwell's turn. Let's see what he does. He still doesn't have an item from the inn. He could linger there and see what happens. But uh, let's roll. A five. Can he get to the... He can. One, two, three, four. He's going to have to do that. Um, this could be bad. Could be bad. We don't have a lot of cards left for this. Um, 
for his ability, but let's do it. One, two, three, four. We have to take out that specter down there. That is a must. The extra mystery card's bad, right? So um, the specter has three and he has three, so it's going to be even money on that. Um, Argo does have some abilities, but they don't apply to this creature. So let's uh, roll. Okay, we got two hits on the specter. That's good. That's uh, two away from killing it, right? They have uh, a health of... Oh, they only have a health of three, so two wounds on her, uh, one on Argo. I think he's just going to take it. He, he still has the ability to get rid of one. Let's do that again. He only needs one more hit to... Uh, wait, he's using Spirit. Why did I roll three dice? I thought they were even. Okay, well, I'm not going to take it back, but I'm just, I'm just going to remember it's two dice to... I think I gave them both an extra die in that fight, don't I? Yeah, I did. So they both got an extra fight die in that round for some reason. Two and two. Uh, oh my, this is no good. All right, well, we killed it, but we're going to take two hits, and he can't take two hits. He can only take one more. So we have to prevent something. Uh, know thy enemy. may discard a event card to gain plus two fight dice or to prevent a wound. Okay, so he's going to spend... Uh, you go first to... Collect, uh, only get one more wound. He's at three or four, but the specter is dead. That is good because now we don't have to draw extra another mystery card. He gets four. Um, I'll give him a five. He now has five um, um, investigation. That's great. And uh, sh the thing is gone. So now, oh, wait, we got to make a roll. Come on. Roll well here. You know what I'm rolling for. A three, we're okay. He gets to draw an event card because remember his other ability is on the hunt. When he kills a minion, he gets an event card. Recovery, played any time except during a fight round to immediately heal D6 wounds for a hero or D3 wounds from the villain. Okay, um, we can do that. We got some people that are wounded. He's wounded. I think he's just going to play it on himself right now. Boom. Um, get rid of those. Hopefully, get rid of those wounds. He's got three. Let's see if he can do it. A five. So all of his wounds are gone. He is perfectly healthy. Good for him. He's going back to the index round, I think. So we can get some cards. Okay, that is Argo's turn. Argo did well there. Killed another Shadow Spectre, right? Yes, he did. Okay, next up we have Sarah. She is the one without the hood. So she's at the doctor's office. Um, she doesn't really have any items, which is interesting, so let's roll for her and see what we get on her uh, movement roll. Let's, let's go, Sarah. Come on. Make it happen. A three. She can get to the... She's going to go visit with... Um, where does she need to go? She needs to go to the monastery. She can't go direct... She can't go the way she'd like to because of the blocked uh, road, but... And she has no no um, investigation. Well, she does. She has two. We just gave her. We should just give her two because that's her ability, her strength of light. I, I could just start heading her towards um, the monastery. It's a big trek. You know the secret passage. I can pay one investigation to move from the manor. Maybe I, I could go to the manor and go straight to the monastery. She doesn't have enough though right now. She needs investigation. Does she have anything? She doesn't have anything from the manor either. So let's do this. We're going to go to the manor with her. One, two, three, four. She is at the manor. And while she's there, she will encounter the manor. So hopefully there's still some good cards. Let's see what we get. Oh, uh, Lucy joins. Now we've got an ally. Lucy, whose parents went to darkness, has come out to help the heroes. And she has decided that she's going to, to travel with Sarah to try and stop the Shadow Witch who plunged her parents, uh, the Lady and Lord Hanbrook, into darkness. Awesome card. I love it. Now we got an ally to, uh, to uh, work with there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything else that she can do this turn. She cannot, but next turn, well, I can't actually spend the investigation. Yeah, she's going to spend the investigation right now to go to the monastery. She just won't encounter it. It doesn't say when you do that, right? Um, and so instead of moving, never mind. So she's going to have to do that next turn. And next turn, she's just going to transfer over to the monastery. Hopefully, we will get an, uh, some more investigation or we don't lose any. That would be helpful. Okay, we're going to skip Captain Hawkins. He doesn't get to stand up until the mystery phase, which means it's now the mystery phase. Everybody's done their thing. 
so far so good not not wonderful but let's go and start rolling now we got to make sure I, I do have to pay attention to make sure that we use this incantation I can do it once per once per uh, chart so let's do it but before we do I gotta move the cat so the cat is heading towards the town hall well that's interesting there's nobody uh, I'm just gonna tell you there's nobody in the cat's way so the cat just moves to the town hall and that's the end of that. So the cat, uh, Solomon, has moved over to the town hall. It didn't encounter anybody. We're good. Okay, uh, now we're going to roll on our mystery face chart. We still have to roll twice. Remember that. So this could be bad. Um, nine. Un unnatural storm. A powerful... Here, let's read this closer. A powerful uh, supernatural storm has blown over the town. Immediately draw... Immediately discard any mystery cards that have the word weather. Also roll once on the villain minion chart, uh, re-rolling any non-events to see what evil uh, the, storm, the storm has brought. If the villain attacks during the storm, it does so at a random location and is plus three combat. Okay, well, here's the good news. We do have a weather card in play. It's this one that may, was making me roll a d6 every time I drew a, uh, um, a uh, event card. So that's good. That was not terrible. But now we have to roll a die on the minions on the uh, bad guys chart here. So here's and it cannot be. So it's going to be. It has to be a one, two, or five, or six. Let's see. A five. Oh, well, five. Oh, it's all. It's only, sorry. It's only one die. Only one die. Let's see. A one. Okay. Ooh. Wrath of the Shadow Witch. Discard this, the top two cards. You know what? I'm going to roll this again. A four. Nope. So that was her re-roll, but as a four, since it doesn't do that, it's only going to be a f I want Okay, a six. I think this is... The villain attacks. The hero must immediately resolve a single fight round with the villain instead of causing a wound. Uh, each hero... It says it's at a random location. So what does that mean for us? Random location. It's going to be in the marsh. There's nobody in the marsh. Okay. Is this, if there are no heroes in the space, instead place... Two, okay, we're going to place two, um, two investigation on the marsh. There's now uh, two there, and unfortunately, we're going to have the shadow track go down to ten, and uh, Sarah is going to lose one of the investigation she so desperately needs. But it's okay, we're going to get to the monastery, maybe get some more, and we'll work that out. Too bad we can't give loans in investigation, but we can't. Uh, that was our first roll. <laughs> so... Uh, let's roll again, see what happens on our mystery chart. Now, I still am doing that, right? I do have the... It's the voices, right? No, it's uh, wild play and investigation cost. No. At the beginning of the mystery phase, it's the horror. It's called the horror. That's the ones making us roll twice. We still do have it. A six, March of Darkness. Okay, well, we know what's going to happen here. Um, every min minion on the board immediately moves two spaces along the darkest... Uh, the shortest path to the town hall. If there are no minions on the board, instead roll once on the villain minion chart or re-rolling event results and place two minions at random locations. I'll do that because that actually helps Argo. I won't try to get rid of that or anything. But let's roll and see what we get. Okay, you can see the bowl, right? Okay, we got basically threes and fours is what we got to roll. So a uh, five isn't going to do it. We roll again. A one isn't going to do it. Of course, we're going to roll 18 times a two. So that's going to be a ghost soldier. So two ghost soldiers are coming out. You can see they've got three fight dice, three health, and a five reward. But they have ethereal, which means we have to fight them with spirit. And overrun, if the hero does not, does no hits to the ghost soldier during a fight round, uh, D6 and run, the hero must immediately escape from the fight. Okay, so that's not good. But let's see where they go. The first one is going to the windmill. Okay. There's a ghost soldier at the windmill, unfortunately, where poor um, Captain Hawkins is now climbing to his feet after being knocked out by an attack by the witch and the manor. So they're both way up in the northern part, and two of our heroes are unfortunately encountering these ghost soldiers. The good news is, that's the end of this mystery phase. We didn't... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Who am I kidding? But at least we only have to draw one mystery card this round. So that is not the worst thing. Let's give it a quick cut. See what we get. Sli something wicked. This card plays on the villain. At the start of each mystery phase, including this one, put a marker on this card. When there are three markers here, immediately remove them to add plus one wound marker to the villain and move the shadow track two steps closer to darkness. So the Shadow Witch is now even tougher and has another Remains in Play card. 
Uh, I don't. I, I think we're going down in flames. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, and Captain Hawkins is standing. But you know, both of Captain Hawkins and Sarah are going to have to deal with this creature, the uh, creature they have to fight. Uh, at least it's with Spirit, which isn't bad. Sarah's got a five, so that's really good. She can take four wounds, and she has her ability. She's a witch. Um, anything that says magic. What, what are these guys' stats? What are their ghost stats? Let's see. Ghost soldier, minion, undead, ghost, horde. None of the stats that she needs as a witch to protect her. She can pay two investigations. She doesn't have any, but she'll get some at the beginning of her turn. So we got some things we can do there. I don't think we're going to get totally creamed on this. But, man, that was a load of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. You know what? We're still alive. We're still kicking. We're still moving through the game, getting closer to the showdown. We're starting to get some clues. We're starting to get some momentum, I feel. I still got to get Captain Hawkins. Still can't get his thing at the church because he just can't keep seem to get clues. Now he's got to fight with no weapons and stuff. When he's spirits, which he has to fight with spirit anyway, he's only got a two. So he is likely going to run away or try and run away from this ghost. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, talk to you in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. We're down to two elders in the town, by the way. They're all dead except for the Reverend and our reluctant hero, Sophie the Midwife. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great one. I hope you watch. I got to, I live in Texas. I got to watch the solar eclipse today. That was pretty cool. But um, anyway, take care. Bye-bye.